Welcome to the video. I'm Nick and I hope you are doing great today. Farming Simulator 19 has just dropped onto PlayStation Plus as one of the free games this month. So there's going to be thousands of people out there looking at the game and to tell you the truth probably scratching their heads thinking what do I do? How do I get started? So I thought I'd put a few videos out to help you along there. Basically the videos that I wish I had seen before I started this game. It would have helped me move along a lot quicker and make the start a bit more enjoyable. Don't get me wrong, it's a brilliant game and I love this game, but at first it can be quite frustrating. So I'm going to try to help you out there. So this is the opening screen. You've got the career mode and that's what we're going to be looking at. Also, you've got multiplayer. Obviously, you're going to go online and play with other people. You've got the tutorials. Guys, again, if you're brand new to this game, you want to be looking at these tutorials. They're going to teach you the different controls, how to control different vehicles and what have you, and it will help you out a lot. You've got the mod hub there. Now, at first, I'd get used to the base game, but the mod hub is brilliant. People put a lot of time and effort into putting some of these mods out there, and they do really, really enhance the base game. But for now, we're just going to look at the base game get used to that before we look at any different mods. You've got trophies, the PlayStation Store options and credits. As I said, we're going to be looking at the career. So let's go. This is the screen you'd come to straight away. These are all my saved games at the moment. You've got quite a lot of different slots here, 10 different slots. So we're going to be going on to save game five and we'll look at this screen you've got farm ma manager you've got start from scratch we're going to ignore those two they're both for people who are quite experienced players in the game they know what they're doing and they want a bit more of a challenge we're going to be going on to new farmer we're already going to own some land we're going to own some machinery and we're going to have some crops in our silo and it's going to give us a big boost at the start of the game so let's get going we've got two different maps on the base game you've got Felsbrunn there and you've got Ravenport we're going to be looking at Ravenport you can also download different maps from the mod hub but again I'd choose one of the maps in the base game to get started with so let's go with Ravenport you've got your character creation screen you can choose from different characters different hairstyles really doesn't matter it's all aesthetics really and yeah that's me you can choose a hat no hat different hairstyles a jacket or no jacket sunglasses no sunglasses and you can also choose the color of your shirt these are all just different mods that i've downloaded again i wouldn't worry about that just yet now as i said we are looking at the brand new player here we i'm trying to help you guys out if you've got any experience of this game you're probably not going to learn anything from this video so i am really really aiming at the brand new player and i want to try and help you out get away from any of that frustration that you might get right at the start of the game and yeah we'll call it farming simulator basics it's basically what I wish I'd known right at the start of my game. So that is actually a picture of our farm that you can see there. And we're nearly there. 95%. And it's going to drop us just on the top of the hill. And we'll be overlooking the farm. Let's take it, Sam. And there we go. So it's going to ask us, first of all, if we'd like a guided tour. I'm going to say no, because I'm going to do that for you. And it's saying we can go back to that guided tour later if we wish. So there's our farm. And we'd usually start from the farmhouse, which is right in the center at the bottom of the valley there. Now, most of these buildings here are actually decoration. You can actually sell them, get rid of them. It will obviously give you money at first but it will also free up a lot of this land which you can use for other things so i'd highly recommend that you do that don't get rid of the farmhouse at first that's where you're spawning at the start of the game not on the top of the hill where we just were 
and also if you want to lap some time you can go to sleep in the farmhouse so i'd keep that there's also a shed there you might want to keep that put some of your vehicles in there and obviously a farm silo just up there you need to keep that that's where you store your crops but the rest of the buildings are really just decoration so we've got one quite large field just here it's cultivated ready to be seeded and get you going there we've also got three smaller fields just up here now these three fields should be in three different stages we'll go to the top one first or one of the top ones should i say so this one here this looks like it needs cultivating it's had a crop on it it's been harvested and yeah it's ready to be cultivated so we've got a case tractor here I'm not going to go too much into details about the different tractors all you need to know is we've got a tractor at first it's got a cultivator at the back there and it's got a weight on the front the weight will stop the tractor slipping around even tipping sometimes if you're driving too fast or something like that especially when you've got something heavy on the back so we jump in the tractor we need to attach both the weight and the cultivator it's saying there at the bottom to press x and that will attach the cultivator now the same for the weight and there we go it's as easy as that drive forward now if you look at the top left hand corner there's an icon of a tractor there the weight is indicated it's white the tractor and the the icon at the back of the tractor is grey all we're going to do is press triangle and that will change it as you can see between the weight and the cultivator we want it on the cultivator L1 and circle will lower the cultivator and then we just drive forward R2 now it's easy in farming simulator to go off a straight line so like i've just done there i think i'm going to zoom out and yes i did come off a straight line there as you can see now i zoomed out using the d-pad there i went down on the d-pad and that zoomed out and yeah it can be quite annoying if you miss some areas so you've just got to be careful of that one way of getting around that is hire a worker as you can see there it says circle to hire worker press that and guess what he's going to drive in a perfectly straight line now when when he turns around he'll come back go the other way and from where he goes to the top of the field will be perfect i just have to clean up the missing bits at the end okay he's not going to turn around because he heard me and he just wanted to annoy me there what's he doing okay yeah he's turning around that way so yeah he's going to get on with that and we'll come back to him in a bit and see how he's getting on using the left and right buttons on the d-pad you can switch between your vehicles so i'm going to do just the same with this one he's got a sower on the back the field is cultivated and ready to sow so we drive up to the edge of the field and if we press l1 it will show you the different things there but the one we're looking at is the triangle which is select seed on the moment if you look at the bottom right hand corner it says it's on wheat you can go to barley you can go to oat canola soya bean oil seed radish and grass now for this example we're going to use oil seed radish because that's actually going to fertilize the field for us more about that in another video about the fertilization state but the oilseed radish is going to give us the first fertilization state so i'm not going to do any of the work here i'm just going to hire a worker and he's going to start straight away and as you can see he's sowing the field so this is right okay one of our other tractors and we'll hitch him up to the trailer he's going to be collecting the harvest along with that harvester up there now there's the train we can use the train more of that in another episode we'll do one about the trains and yeah so we'll go to the harvester okay great now 
We need to attach the header. We need to lower the header. And then turn it on. Oh, we need to unfold the harvester first. Now, with the harvester, there we go, we'll turn it on, there you go. All you do is drive into the crop. You've got different headers for different crops, but again, more about that in a different video, maybe. But for this one, it's going to do you all the, the basic crops we're going to be able to harvest with this harvester and this header. And this is quite a basic harvester. You can buy much better ones, much bigger headers. Uh, they go much faster and yeah you'll be able to harvest a field this size in very 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 quickly with one of the other ones now as you can see it's dumped a load of straw out of the back there and we can collect that straw we can either use a a loading wagon which would pick up the straw for us or a baler and we could bale that straw we can use it for animals later on in the game or we can sell it make a bit of extra money there now I'll just show you if you didn't want the straw you can actually turn that off it says disable straw there and that's what happens when you do that it just spits it out of the back but it's not going to be so you can collect it but why wouldn't you collect it you can earn money from it and like I say it is useful later on in the game if you wanted to be a livestock farmer, if you've got any animals, they need the straw for bedding. So we'll just set this up and I'm going to put this onto worker, leave him to it. And there we go. So he's going to go along and then come back down. And we're going to jump out. And we're going to collect some of the wheat that was it wheat i think it was wheat we're going to collect what he has is harvesting we can't get it from the right hand side the the up uh, the auger the pipe will come out of the left hand side of the harvester and we'll be able to get it into the tractor on his way back down into the trailer should i say just wait for him to turn around if you get in his way he'll just stop it'll come up on screen saying worker a worker b whatever he is um, it's blocked and he'll stop you will still be paying him while he is blocked so just be careful of that now if you drive into your own crop like that you're going to destroy it but fortunately the the workers don't actually destroy your own crop so you just be careful if you drive into your crop you will be doing it damage and you will not be able to harvest that little bit so as you can see the pipes come out there and there we go straight into the trailer and we can empty the hopper from the harvester straight in there that's enough for what we need to do he'll put the pipe back in and he'll carry on now the silo this here is where you empty your crop into the silo to store it press R1 and triangle as it tells you at the bottom there and you'll just tip your crop into the silo and there we go if you want to get crop back out of the silo come round this side under the pipe it'll tell you at the top there L3 start filling press that and these are all the different products that you've got in the silo so we're going to sell something we'll show you how to make your first bit of money we'll go for the sunflowers we've got 10,621 litres of sunflowers press start if you press L3 at any time it will stop however there's more sunflowers in there that could fit into my trailer so it's filled the trailer and then it's stopped and we're going to take this somewhere to sell it there's plenty of sell points on the map we'll go through those in just a moment we're just going to go to the nearest one it's quite slow and painful in this tractor to be fair this is one of the small tractors it's very slow and it can't pull that much weight we'll sell this tractor i recommend buying some 
medium tractors, they can pull more weight, they can go a lot faster, and yeah, m much better. Uh, but this one's okay to start off with. You can change the view to so your in cab. Very good. Looking in your mirrors there. And keep your eye on the road, to be fair. And we'll come back out of that, and yeah, as you can see, we are going quite slowly. And we're all over the road as well. You can have traffic turned on or off on this game. Some people like to play with the traffic on, they say it's more realistic. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't find it realistic because the traffic doesn't act real. It can just get you into all sorts of, of mix-ups and yeah, it, it can, be, uh, can be a bit of a pain, so I usually turn traffic off. That's the spinnery just up there, that's one of the sell points. You'll also be selling cotton if you're harvesting cotton or if you are if, if you've got livestock you've got sheep you get wool and you'd sell that at the spinnery some more fields knocking around here so you can't see the ones at the left but obviously that's the field there to the right now you're not going to have much problems in this tractor because you, you, you'd find it very hard to get too much speed up but this corner here if you're in a faster vehicle and you take this corner too fast, you're going to get yourself into all sorts of bother. So just be careful, it's quite a tight one there. And this here, up on the left-hand side, this is the restaurant. And that's where we're going to sell these sunflowers. I don't know what price we're going to get for them, because I haven't checked. But we'll be looking at the prices and what have you in just a moment. So just like when you're at your own silo, you drive onto here, it comes up to tip it. R1 triangle you tip it away and you can see in the top right hand corner our money's going up some flowers you get quite a lot of money for it so and we've sold I think it was 8,000 litres and we've made 8,854 harvest income there so that's not up too bad you can buy bigger trailers <coughs> excuse me you can buy bigger trailers along with your bigger tractors and what have you and obviously you'd be getting a lot more money for a full load on a bigger trailer once you've sold something at one of the sell points sometimes the price will come down not instantly but not long afterwards so obviously if you can go with a bigger trailer then you're going to get more money from the harvest because you're dumping it all in there all at once and the price won't come down if i kept going back and forth to my silo back to the the restaurant they are then yeah the the price will probably come down quite soon so here we are at the shop you've got the bank here you've got the shop here you can actually access both of those things from the in-game menu you don't physically have to come here but some people they like to play it more realistic yeah if i want to go to the bank i'm going to drive to the bank if i want to go to the shop i'm going to drive to the shop also here we have the workshop now this is where you come you can modify your vehicles customize your vehicles or sell your vehicles here now i just want to quickly show you we'll go into the shop through the menu we're not going to look at different things in the shop at the moment but at the bottom there it says triangle for a garage we're going to press that and these are all our vehicles now everything we've just looked at and here we these are the the buildings which i mentioned earlier that you can sell don't sell your farmhouse but you can sell these other things i mean that farm shack i'm just going to get five thousand for it straight away it's gone farm garage nope sorry farm garage there we go we've got ten thousand for that the farm shed ten thousand for that and the old farm barn we've got thirty thousand for that so that's free money basically thirty thousand for farm storage it says it's storage but it is just a decorative object There's, you can't store anything in there and the stable we've got forty thousand for that so we've just made quite a lot of money and freed up some space on our farm there now that's not why i was actually coming in the shop i've gone off on a tangent a little bit there i wanted to show you the tractor we're in the fiat here 
here I can sell it for forty-four thousand and forty-nine dollars. If I come out of the shop and drive into the marked area here for the workshop and L3 there, now it's saying I can sell the the same vehicle for fifty-two thousand eight hundred and forty-four. It is well well worth coming all the way here, it doesn't matter where you are on the map, if you sell it just from where you are, you're going to get less money, bring it here, you're going to get more money for it, why wouldn't you? So you can customise from here, you can get different wheel setups, obviously different wheel setups will help you with different jobs, but we're not going to do any of that at the moment, we are just going to sell this tractor. Do we really want to sell it? Yes, we do. And the vehicle's been sold, and I've got an extra £52,000 in the bank, or dollars in the bank. So, there you go. That is the basics of the farm, the shop, the bank is there, like I said, and the workshop. We're going to have a quick look at the in-game menu now. So, if you press the options button, and we are at the map. So, what does this show us? Obviously, this is the map of Ravenport. This down here, bottom right-hand side, is our field. Our, our farm, should I say. We've got the four different fields. The 19 is the larger one. 24, 25, 26. Those colours in green, meaning that they are our fields. And the ones in white there, obviously, we do not own. So, we've got different icons. We've got the home icon there. We've got the silo, uh, the, the arrow with the three dots underneath it. That's our silo. That's where we've got all our grain stored. You've got other ones in white being the animal dealer. We can buy or sell animals there. We've got the lime station. Now, the one in the biogas plant, I don't think you can use that until you own the biogas plant. But there's another lime station here at the pork grain elevator. You can also buy lime at the shop with other things. Now we've got the fuel station there, obviously for fueling your vehicles up. I think that's all the ones in white. Yes, it is. Now, like I said, they're all silos where you can, you know, you're, you're, you're storing your crop or you can go and buy things from all the ones in white. Now, the ones in orange here, like the spinnery we passed earlier, the restaurant that we visited, we've got the biomass heating plant, the barn what else have we got we've got the port grain elevator the sawmill the central grain elevator we've got the railroad silo east <clears throat> excuse me we've got the ranch and we have the railroad silo west now they are all the sell points that's where you're going to be selling your product now, the other things to look at on the map, this is where you buy and sell land. We'll look at our land. If you press L3, everything in green we own there. Now, there's two parcels of land there. If you press R3, the right thumbstick on over one of the parcels of land, that's the one that has just come up in blue. It tells us the value at the bottom right, $210,182. Change to the other parcel of land that's 362,000 and a little bit more it tells us our balance 290,888 dollars just next to the value of the land there now if we wanted to sell that obviously it's showing up there we can just press triangle and we could sell the land if you wanted to buy land right thumbstick over the field you want to buy and it'll come up with the value of that land so this one is two hundred and two thousand nine hundred and ninety two dollars now if you go to a field that you can't afford let's say field eight here that's worth over a million dollars and we've only got two hundred and ninety thousand so our balance has come up in red no you can't have that okay so that is how to buy and sell land so we'll L-click to bring us back to the original map. And the key to the right-hand side is basically showing us the different fruits or different crop types that you've got on the different fields. And it's as simple as that, really. So moving to soil composition, you've got 
different soul compositions so in pink here fields two fields three the start of field four and field five are have got weeds on them so they are going to need weeding otherwise you will lose i think it's 15 percent of your yield on your crop if you do not weed those fields if you go to the blue ones let's look, look at field 11 here that has been fertilized the first stage of fertilization it's got 50 percent fertilized which will give you a 25 percent yield boost on your crop if you look at the dark blue nine and ten it's 100 percent fertilized so that's going to give you a 50 percent yield boost on your crop okay and we haven't got anything i don't think that needs plowing just yet on the on the map but that would be showing up in red and the turquoisey color here that's saying that it needs lime it will tell you it needs lime every three harvests and you will get a bonus on your yield if you lime the field every time it needs it and then moving on to the crop growth stage we've got anything in light blue it means it's cultivated there's no crop on there if it is light green it means it's basically just been planted it's in the first growth stage the deeper the darker the, the color of green the the more through the growth stage it is you can see field 15 there is nearly ready to be harvested field 16 there is nowhere near ready it's just been planted there moving to the yellows and the oranges yellow means it is it is ready to harvest it's only just been ready to harvest it's just changed from green to to yellow you can go and harvest that field and earn your money the deeper the yellow or going nearer to orange basically means it's just at a further stage of being ready to harvest you don't get any bonus from waiting whether you harvest it in the the light yellow or the deep orange you're going to get the same yield so the the main thing about the differences there is if you play maybe on farm manager or start from scratch then you would have withering of crops turned on and obviously if you've got a field that's in deep orange there you you know you're going to have to harvest it real soon otherwise you're going to lose that crop to withering but on new farmer withering's turned off so you don't even need to worry about that at all i think that's it for the map so let's move on to the silos and the sell points and the selling prices so moving right up to the top here we've got the silos owned it says in orange and total capacity moving along the numbers that are highlighted in orange the total capacity is 2000 liters and that is per crop in our silo the silo that we looked at right at the start of the video and obviously the number above the 2000 liters is how much we have actually got in there now that silo can't hold everything that you get in this game but that's all going to be in a different video and we'll look at that later but we'll have a look at the different crops that are on these this screen starting from the left you've got wheat barley oat canola sunflower soybean you've got corn moving along from the corn you've got potatoes sugar beet cotton sugar cane then we've got eggs and wool which you need to be li livestock farmer before you get any of those you've got milk again you need livestock farming then you've got wood chips you've got silage you've got grass hay and straw there and the last two are manure and slurry again you need to be a livestock farmer before you've got grass uh, sorry manure or slurry okay moving back to the start we can move down sorry yeah there we go to silos other that is the two railroad silos that were mentioned on the map now you can use those there's no charge for using them you can store your crop in them if either your silos are full or maybe you you you're harvesting a field nearer there than your own silo you can always use those silos it's two hundred thousand each silo so it says four hundred thousand that's because there's two of them and obviously it's saying zero liters because we don't have anything in there now moving down these are the different sell points some sell points sell different 
or should I say buy different product. For instance, the bond doesn't buy anything on that screen. If you go further along, it buys the silage, the grass, the hay, and the straw. Now, these are all the prices, obviously, at the different places. If there isn't an arrow next to it, it's a steady price, and that's the price you're going to get. If there's a green arrow next to it, let's have a look at the central grain elevator there. Move three along to the oat. It's at $1,233, and that is per 1,000 litres. And that price is at the moment going up. So every now and again, it just goes up by one, and you're going to get a little bit more if you hang on a little bit. Obviously, red arrow, looking at the port grain elevator at the canola, one on the on the fourth one along that's 998 per thousand liters but that price is going down so if you leave it too long you're going to get even less once you've sold a lot of something at one of one of these places you will get the red arrow and the price will start dropping so yeah and that's basically that screen you've got the vehicle overview screen it tells you how long you have owned a vehicle how long you've used the vehicle and what condition it is in now the condition is really important you can still use the vehicle if the if the condition gets down to zero but it won't do as good a job let's say for instance a cultivator will cultivate less it will go slower you, you will get less yield from that product even if you've 100 percent fertilized you've weeded it's plowed you've done everything possible right to the field if that cultivator is broken you can still use it but you will get less crop from it let's say a spreader or a, a yeah a spreader for instance a sprayer you're using liquid fertilizer on a hundred percent a hundred percent vehicle it, it's in tip top condition and you can go along and great you're not going to use that much fertilizer if that sprayer is broken if it's down to say 10 percent then it's going to use a lot more of the fertilizer and it's going to cost you a lot more money it is worth mending them and you can do that at the workshop which we looked at not long ago you've got the money screen the financial the finance screen it tells you what you've earned what you've what what you've um paid out and it tells you about your loan we don't have a loan at the moment you can borrow in increments of five thousand repay in increments of five thousand and that's basically that screen there animal pens it says we don't have any yet because we don't even if we did did have an animal pen but we didn't have any animals in there it would still say we don't have any pens or animals yet as soon as you put an animal in there it will give you all the information of that pen it will tell you what food you've got in there what water you've got in there have you got any straw bedding the effectiveness um the productivity should i say and the reproduction rate of the animals you've got the contract screen now on the contracts it's a good way to earn money especially at the start of the game if you're waiting for your crops to grow or something what shall i do go do a contract even if you don't have the right equipment to do that contract you can borrow the equipment from this screen uh, for instance on the one that's highlighted it's twenty-eight thousand for fertilizing field eight it's a big field it's the biggest one on the map but it's a lot of money that for fertilizing it you'd have to pay for the fertilizer yourself but you're still going to earn quite a lot of money from that if you don't have the right equipment from here you can press triangle and you would borrow that particular sprayer and it costs you four thousand dollars but again you're still going to earn quite a lot of money from doing that particular contract so a good way of earning money near the start of the game there your stats just tells you what you've been up to what fields you've been doing how many fields you've been doing how much time you've been doing this that the other yeah just have a browse through that and see what you've been up to now your settings name of the game your my save game we've got it on the time scale you can have it on real time times five times 15 times 30 times 68 times 120 now i usually play on times five that's the default setting when you turn the game on that's what you've got and i think time passes quite nicely there economy difficulty easy normal hard i generally play on normal but it's up to you if it's on hard it feels like a bit of a grind to get anywhere in the game on normal 
it feels just about right on easy you get an absolute ton of money for anything that you sell and it can make it really easy it depends what you want out of the game it's really up to you traffic on or off i think i mentioned the traffic earlier i usually have it turned off and i don't think the traffic is that realistic but there you go it's again it's your choice dirt you've got no normal fast off and slow whether you want dirt on on your on your vehicles or not i just have it on normal we've got the automatic engine start you jump into the vehicle and it and it starts you jump out and it turns off you've got the stop and go braking you've got fuel usage of low now these next ones are interesting when you turn the game on that that would be on buy all these would be on buy now it makes it a little bit easier for you 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 you're paying somebody to go and do a job and they're as they're doing it they're replacing the seed or the fertilizer or or the or the fuel that they're using however it is costing you i think it's 150 percent more so you know it, if they use a hundred pounds worth of stuff it's going to cost you 150 pounds just to replace it so i have those turned off and i replace it myself and it, it costs me a lot less basically yeah it's a little bit of time you've got to you know go and sort the seeds out yourself but it's more realistic that way anyway so it, it's part of the fun of the game in my opinion plant growth now on new farmer it starts as fast I like to play on normal. You've also got slow and off. Now, plank growth off. I've never even tried that one. I don't know what you'd do if you had plank growth off. What would happen there? Interesting. Um, we've got plant withering. We've mentioned that earlier. We've got crop destruction. If you drive into your own field when you've got crop destruction on, not in the first stages of growth, you're okay, but in the final stages of growth, you're going to start destroying your crop. The helpers won't destroy your crop. You can drive into somebody else's field, you won't destroy their crop, but you will destroy your own crop. That is turned on by default. You've got periodic plowing required, on or off. Lime required, on or off. You've got the weeds, again, on or off, and the autosave interval. And you can also pause again from this menu. More options, but these are more to do with the controls and things. You've got the help window there. I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, it's going to take too long, and they are quite self-explanatory. One that I will mention is the monetary unit. You can have dollars. You're on a US map. You, you know, you're on a European map. You've got euros. You're on a British map. You've got pound. There is no exchange rate. It's pound for euro for dollar. What one one for one? So it really doesn't matter. It's your own preference what you have on there. I think we're on a US map, so we're going to keep it on dollars. And there you go. Last screen to look at is the help menu. It is pretty good. Have a look through it if you're worrying or w wondering, should I say, about something. For instance, we've just gone onto the oil seed radish. It tells you that it's a special crop that you don't harvest it, but you just you cultivate it and it gives you that first stage of fertilization so yeah it's just have a look through it and it might help you out there so guys i think that's about it for this video we've gone through all the very basics what you need to know to get started in the game i hope it's going to help you not get too frustrated at the start get through that early stage and get really really enjoying this game because it is a brilliant game so hope you've enjoyed it hope that you really do enjoy your farming guys thanks for watching i'm going to put, post some more videos so if you're not subscribed get subscribed and turn on notifications so you will see the the other videos that i'm going to put out there and they for the time being they're going to be especially for the people just starting the game to help you out a little bit thanks for watching guys have an amazing day